Hey guys, Northern Automan here. This is a quick unpackaging video on Crop King seeds. I'm also going to be showing you all the strains that I received and all the seeds that I'm going to be planting this summer and fall, which I'm really excited about. I have both photo period and auto flower strains. So you guys have never seen me grow photo period before, but I'm really looking forward to that. In this video, I'll just be showing you the packaging, what to expect if you order from Crop King seeds, and also just some other cool stuff you can buy from them. The packaging you receive from Crop King Seeds is very professional. I've ordered from many different companies and what I've found is lots of them just throw it in the packaging and expect it to all stay nice, but I've, have, I've had some stuff ruined from that and I really like when companies take care to put everything in there nicely and also they have a pretty cool idea for sticking it to these pamphlets so your seeds don't just thrash around while you're getting them shipped. So yeah, this is the packaging that you get. It's uh, got some nice bubble wrap on the inside with some cardboard on the outside. Uh, nothing was ruined when I received it. And as you can tell, nothing will be because that's nothing's going through there or going to crush it. And then this is for larger item purchases like shirts, hats, other stuff. And I'll be showing you guys all that in the end of the video. So one of the ways Crop King Seeds really sticks out for me is they have this really cool shipping method. So they'll pin your seeds just to this pan flip. Which then, when it's inside the package, it's not going to move around at all, which is a great idea. So lots of times when I've ordered from companies, you'll open the package, the seeds will just be everywhere, everything will be mixed up. You don't know if the grinder possibly could have crushed them, so... And it's also got a really nice hard plastic bubble, so it'll take a lot of force to crush that, which is great. And then also when you order from them, you're going to be getting this product guide which is again, not cheap. Uh, you can tell it's really good quality. It's got a whole bunch of pages, 46 in total. It's got a whole bunch of information inside. I'd really recommend check it out if you order seeds from them. It's got all their strains and prices. It's got some really cool CBD and THC charts, which is also all available on their great website. And then you also get this strain sheet with a little stake that you can put by your plants, which is pretty cool. All right, so I'll be going through my seeds now. They're all feminized and I have 40 in total, 15 auto flowers and 25 photo period plants. I'll be telling you guys the CBD percentages and the THC percentages. If you don't know what that is, CBD is the medicinal value. Uh, so care clubs will really look for a strain that has a higher CBD percentage. And THC is more the highness you get, which I uh, personally like for marijuana. So the revolver is a CBD percentage of 0.1, so it's not very medicinal, but it does have a THC value of 13.67%. So it's kind of in the low to moderate range for THC percentages, and it's on the low side for CBD percentages. But I'm really excited and really looking forward to growing the revolver. It uh, looks really pretty. I can't wait to grow that. Next off, we have early miss. I have five of these seeds. Again, it's an indica dominant strain but it's got some really high percentages. So CBD percentage of this is 0.7%, which is actually pretty good. I know it sounds small, but 0.7% is definitely something you will notice for medicinal value. And uh, it's a great choice if you need something medicinal. But also as a kicker, it's got a 20.06% THC value. And I've personally never grown a autoflower with that high of a percentage. I think the highest I've ever grown is about 17.7%. So I'm really looking forward to that, and I can't wait to do some reviews on the bud once it's all dried up and cured. Alright, so this is a white cookie seeds. This is a mix of White Widow and Girl Scout cookies, which they created. It's supposed to be a really good strain. As you can see, it's just over half indica. It's also got some really high CBD and THC percentages. So for white cookies, you're looking at 0.75% CBD. Great medicinal value and also a really high THC percentage of 19.25%. So you'll definitely notice that when you're smoking it. And I'm gonna definitely plant all of these seeds. And this is Dark Angel. It apparently has an aroma of coffee and nutmeg. It's a mix of indica and sativa, so it's gonna be one of my bigger plants, that's for sure. Um, most of these strains are about 400 grams outdoors, it says. But because I'm planting them later in the season, because I don't want them to get 10 feet tall, um, we'll see. I'm hoping to get about 200 grams per plant, which would be a great return. So yeah, Dark Angel has percentages of 0.4% for the CBD and 17.19% for THC. 
So it's in the medium range there. 0.4% uh, is still noticeable for medicinal value, but it's definitely not on the higher end. This is more strain for THC and also really cool looking again. Can't wait to see how this turns out. Now, the best strain, the one that I've kept till the end because this is the one I'm really, really looking forward to. This is the best of both of the categories, as you can see it says there, 70% uh, indica, and it's got really great THC and CBD percentages. So to blow your mind, the CBD percentage is 2.1%. Now that's just amazing. Uh, the medicinal value of this is gonna be great. This is a strain that you could sell for a lot of money to a care club, but personally, I like to keep my prices low just so I can help those people that are in need. And yeah, THC percentage of 21.5%. So again, this strain is going to be kick-ass. I can't wait to see what this is like. I'm definitely planting all these seeds because I really want to see how it turns out. And I'm really, I have high hopes for this strain. Yeah, I can't wait to grow it. These are about 110 bucks for 10 feminized seeds. I'd really recommend looking at this strain if you need a uh, strain for medicinal value and also high THC percentages. All right, so one more minute, guys. Uh, this is going to be everything that you can purchase from their website. There's also a lot more, of course, but this is the, some of the stuff you can see. So first off, here's their hat that they have. It's got their nice logo on it. It's nice white, so I don't get a heat stroke while I'm digging all my holes, which I really appreciate. Thanks for sending that, guys. This is a shirt that you could get from them. Uh, when you buy shirts from companies, lots of times their logos won't be of good quality, but I'm actually really impressed. Everything looks great. It's not stretched out. And then world-class cannabis seeds, which is a true fact. Next off, you got these little pipes that you get, can get. Uh, it's got a little metal bowl on the outside. Yeah, those are pretty neat. I'm gonna be giving away some of this stuff in the future. And you got some stickers you can put on the pots. You can go ahead and circle whichever kind of strain it is. Yeah, just some neat stickers. And then I also have a bunch of frig fridge magnets you can get. Sure, also again, good quality as always. And last but not least, we have this grinder. It's actually really good quality. It's got some nice weight to it. And also, yeah, it has a little crystal scoop in the bottom there. So yeah, as you can tell, it has a screen, so all your crystal drops down after grinding for a while. Yeah, it's got their logo on the top there. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I really hope you uh, see all my videos this weekend. I'm going to be uploading another video tomorrow because I'm going to be digging all my holes, and I'll be showing new people on how to do that outdoors. And I'm also going to be using a mix of soil, but I'll have more information on that later. So thanks a lot, Crop King Seeds, and thanks everyone for watching. Can't wait to get all these plant seeds planted, and I'm really looking forward to the progress. Thanks again, guys, and I will see you later. Have a good one.